So I've got a couple projects in the works. One of them was making use of the horizontal mill, which I really enjoyed. Uh, horizontal milling is just really quite satisfying. You can crush through quite a bit of metal pretty quickly. The problem is that the overarm support is a real pain to get on and off because basically you have to tear off the motor first and then pull the, the rest of the vertical head off, both of which are like 100 pounds. So it's not a whole lot of fun. Coincidentally, around the same time I was skimming through the Rockwell Yahoo group and someone mentioned a uh, overarm support that was in a magazine. The Home Shop Machinist, September, October 2014 edition. Uh, so I went ahead and got this on eBay. It was like $6 shipped to my house. And if you open it up, page 70, All right? So an easy Rockwell Mill Arbor support. What this fellow did was fabricate uh, basically a, an arm support that goes into the vertical head. So here is a, a round shaft uh, with a whole board out and then there's a bronze sleeve inside of that and that basically accepts the external diameter of the shims that go on the arbor. So normally the arm would connect out here uh, with the normal overarm support and it would hold onto this bib. Uh, but because it's shorter, because the vertical head's in place, it's, uh, I don't know, an inch and change to go over the, the outer shim spacers. And then there's a vertical piece here that he welded into place, which goes inside of a collet, which attaches to the vertical head. So here's a, a close-up shot. You can see the bushing right there, this outer cylinder, and then here's the weld joint for the piece that goes up. I thought it was a, a pretty clever idea using essentially the vertical head in place. The thing I didn't like about it is this is a real fiddly fit based on what the article says and just, just thinking about it. Because uh, basically you need to get this into the vertical head as well as slotting the arbor in place. And so you have to do it all kind of at once and shove things into place. I wanted something like this, but I didn't really want to do this type of approach because there's just not a lot of clearance to work with here. So what I did is I looked through the stock that I have and came up with this plan. Uh, so this is essentially a replica overarm support. You can see it's got the large bore for the overarm, I don't know, arm, I suppose. And then there's a smaller bore that accepts the outer diameter of the shims, just like the article. So you basically would put the whole arbor plus shims through this hole, and then it's clamped on the top. So this is identical to essentially the, the stock support arm, except that this diameter is larger. And what will happen is rather than taking the whole vertical head off, I will just leave it mounted permanently on the vertical head kind of off at an angle over here. So the idea is I'll just leave it clamped here when it's not in use. And when it's in use, I'll you know unclamp it, swing it down, move it out to the furthest reach of the vertical head, and then it can accept the arbor uh, quite a bit easier. So it's a lot of the same benefits of this type of kind of temporary quick setup without the irritation of actually using the vertical head. The main downside obviously is you lose a fair amount of space. There's probably a good five or six inches here between the back of the vertical casting and the where the collet would go. The other big downside is it might not be as stable. I'm gonna be doing this out of uh, aluminum 7075. It's not gonna be quite as nice as a cast iron support. But again, if I'm doing something that needs real rigidity, I'll just go through the pain of taking off the whole vertical head and using the proper support. But this gives me the option to use the horizontal for reasonably light situations where I don't need a ton of stability. It should be a good kind of first project. So I've got a taper here, two bores, lined thread down here, a nice curve at the bottom, probably a chamfer the whole thing. And really the only actual important measurement is the distance from the center here to the center here, because those are the two pieces that need to line up for the arbor and the arm. So as long as this is the correct distance, uh, everything else, you know, can be off by a few degrees or a few lengths. It's all kind of cosmetic on the outside. So I think this will be a good project to practice precision without it actually mattering too much. So yeah, wish me luck.
Getting close to our final diameter, so I'm going to start taking measurements. Get telescoping gauge in here, right about there. Alright, let's go measure this. Alright, that puts us right at 1.62122, something around there. And the final dimension we need is 1.693, so that should be a get this done in one final pass and then a, a spring pass at the end and we should probably be good. See how we did. Let's see, we got six, three, and fifteen. So that's six hundred seventy-five. One point six nine zero, and we were looking for one point six nine three. So yeah, that's not so bad. I'll take it. Now we get to bore out the other hole. Uh, that one should go easier, I think. Uh, I'm gonna set it up on the rotary table, and basically just turn a big groove for the bulk of the material. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully everything fits. Otherwise, you might have to start getting creative. <laughs> 